Hi everyone, just another Tesla guy here. Gonna have full self driving, navigate to a couple of locations and eventually get to Target. So I'm gonna start full self driving and just wanna see how it perform today. Again, I'm hands free, car is doing everything with indicated by the blue line here. So we need to make a right turn up ahead. All right, and we're changing lanes. Now we cannot because it's a solid white line. So we should be doing it right up ahead. All right, yep, perfect. Lane change. Beautiful, it's slow down. That car was turning back in. Great, ran over a pothole. All right, and we're off. Going about 25 miles here, speed limit it's 25, so we're good, comfortable at that speed. All right, applying some force on the steering wheel. Yellow light slows down just in time. Perfect, that was beautiful. Good job, Tesla. All right, so we're gonna make a right turn up ahead. And then make a left turn to a CVS. Don't need to go to CVS, but just entering a location for it to navigate to. Once I approach CVS, I'm gonna remove the location so it will navigate to the next one. Okay, let's move the map back right here. We're in Harrison, New Jersey right now. Traffic 7 p.m. So light traffic, hopefully. All right, green light and we're off. Apply some force. Okay. All right. After this block, we should be making a left. Sorry, making a right. All right. It's going at 16, keeping up with traffic. All right, making a right turn here. Moving a little bit closer to the right side. Make the right turn. There's a cyclist here. Don't let him pass. Good job, Tesla. Let's go. All right, I got honked at. And the car made the turn. I did not need to press accelerator on that, but someone did honk me behind me. It made the turn perfectly. I did not need to press accelerator. So good job, dear Tesla. Could have been a little faster. Once the cyclist passed me, we could have started to start going, but it waited for the cyclist to get across the street before it continued. It still made the turn. I did not need to press accelerate and we're good. Move a little bit to the side because it saw that cyclist. corrected itself because it drove a little bit too far to the early. Just because look at that car stop in front of me. Hard stop on Tesla. Nothing we can do there. So that's something that the Tesla could, so full self driving could work on. Definitely not those abrupt stops, not those hard stops, especially when there's cars behind me. Because that's not very human-like behavior. See, it's slowing down again. Luckily, there's no car behind me now, but it did speed up. I did not press accelerator and it still continued to speed, speed up. So that was good. But still these abrupt stops, random stops, slowing downs, when traffic is going normally, it shouldn't be doing that. All right, yellow light, we can definitely make it. So I'm just gonna press accelerate for it to go and it's not turning, oh, it will turn at the last second. But it made that turn. I did not disengage. It's still driving the car. I'm not sure if that was honking at me, but I think they're honking on the other side because it was a green light and they weren't moving. But I thought the car would not make the turn, but it drove a little bit further into the intersection before it made the left turn. 
and I did not disengage. So it was, so it made the left turn. We're approaching the CVS almost. So once I hit that red light, I am going to reroute and remove CVS from the location. Protected left turn, he's not going, so I just apply on the accelerator and it made the left turn. I did it, did not move, so I did have to press on the accelerator. So let me just re remove the location and have it reroute. It picked up immediately, great job. But it made the left turn, it was just a little slow to start, so I did press on the accelerator for the car to move, but I did not need to intervene or disengage and have the car or make the left turn for the car. Sorry. problem. Right turns are pretty easy and simple for full cell driving. Just really left turn the other one with the issue. Yeah don't 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 do that. It's gonna confuse the driver behind me. Just blinking off and on, off and on. Don't do that, don't. <laughs> All right, we're going, so it should keep the blinker on. All right, make the right turn. Okay, and we're off. Another straight path, I believe. It's going at 25. A little too slow. Let's bump it up to 30. And we're stopping for a red light. Another hard stop. Likely that pedestrian that's crossing confused full cell driving. It's slowing down, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of force and take over because it's not going to move away for that car so I did have to disengage because it was just gonna go and not turn move to the side to avoid the car Light green light let's go don't slow down please don't slow down during intersections I did not press accelerator, I was ready to press it, but it went ahead and sped up. Alright, need to make a left turn here. Make a left turn, so we should be able to go. Don't don't stop. I had to press accelerate for it to go. It wasn't confident enough to make that left turn. So when the car starts turning, you should definitely the car should not be doing that. It should definitely continue the uh, turn and just be confident because it's already starting the turn. So it should have continue and just continue going and make the turn. Stopping at the intersection, I had to press accelerate for it to go. It was able to complete the turn. I did not need to disengage, but it needs to be confident enough to finish the turn when, once it starts the turn. I can see where we're going. We're going, we need to take the right side. So I'm just gonna disengage and move over to the right side because it seems to wanna stay right in the middle. Just not 
good place to stay because they have creepy cars going to the left lane, which is a left turn lane only. So I did have to disengage and take over and move it over to the right lane. And now that we're here, I'm just gonna re-engage full self-driving. Not making a right turn just yet, so speed up, slowing down, and pressing accelerate just a little bit. All right, all these lanes here are confusing it. Yes, we're making a right turn up ahead, but again, it's turning on its blinker a little bit too early. Very likely that could confuse the other drivers behind me, having having them think that I'm making a right turn, but I'm not. Okay, stopping here for a red light. We need to get over to the right lane on the other side and turn right. Let's see if we're make it over. And we made it over. Alright, we need to turn right here. Let's see, you make the right turn. Beautiful. Right, that was a good job, Tesla. It's slowing down here a little bit. Don't need to slow down. We have the right of the way. I just press accelerate for it to go. But it did slow down there for those other oncoming cars. I would say so far it's about a okay drive. I did have to disengage a couple of times. One to avoid a car that was just waiting to make a left turn. One when it decided to stop right in the middle of both lanes when we should be on the right lanes and there are cars on the left lane about to turn left. So it should not block people from taking that lane. And just a couple of times I had to press on the accelerator for the car to go because it was a little slow to go got honked a couple of times just because the car just kind of sat there and was going too slow and the hard stops and with its crazy blinkers having it on but we're not turning and turning it and clicking it off right we're almost at target need to make a left turn up ahead there's a car right behind me, so we're going to speed up just by 2 miles from 30 to 32. Speed limit here is 25. Alright, let's see, get over to the left turn lane. Alright, so protect it left turn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It made it. Alright, good job here. It has to make a right turn to enter target. So I'm just gonna tick over because I'm afraid it's gonna do like a hard turn. Actually, nope. Just gonna let it do it. Ugh. But it made it over. Slowing down to let these pedestrian cross first. I just took over. I disengaged full self driving, but I'm pretty I'm sure full self driving will have stopped to let them cross. But since the navigation ended anyway, and I'm at my destination, I disengage. But yeah, an okay drive, not the best, not the worst. Still a lot of things that Tesla full self driving could work on. Definitely not ready yet to be level five, which is having the car navigate to the final destination without us having to do anything. So you still have to continue to monitor it. But overall, I think it's an okay drive. Hey, let me know what you guys all think about this drive down in the comments below.